Glad are proud sponsors of Home Cooked with Julie Goodwin. You can always count on Glad. Looking for some comfort food to get through the colder months? My winter warmers are on the way. Tonight on Home Cooked, how to get the perfect pork crackling every time. That is one of the best sounds in the world. Underbelly's Guyton Grantly steams up the kitchen. Fire, because we're going to eat this by the fire. Oh, Julie. So you're going to be... <laughs> really? Hey. <laughs> and a hearty winter soup with a special ingredient. Julie's chicken soup with a dash of love. Good warm hug. Oh. <laughs> Hi and welcome to my brand new show, Home Cooked. I'm hoping that in this show you'll join me in the kitchen to cook a lot of my favourite foods and my family's favourites and hopefully some of your favourites too. Tonight's all about winter warmers. I really love this time of year because you get to cook that warming, luscious food that everybody loves. And we're going to kick off with a real favourite. I love this lamb shank recipe because it's got orange zest in it and a bit of orange juice and some sultanas for sweetness and cinnamon. And I like to serve it with a bit of a Moroccan couscous. The best thing about this recipe is that I put it in the slow cooker so I can prepare it all in the morning in just a few minutes. And when I come home in the afternoon, the whole house smells like a lovely winter dish. So I'm just coating the shanks in a mixture of flour, cumin, salt and pepper before I put them in a fry pan to brown off. Meat's always really lovely when it's cooked on the bone because it's got a deeper flavour than when it's not. When you're buying lamb shanks, you can ask your butcher to French them for you, which means he takes off the outer sinew and cuts off the big knobby shank bit at the end. It's up to you. If you want it to look nice and neat, you can do that. If you don't mind the bit of gristle and the bit of shank at the end, you can just buy them as they are. So I've browned those off and I'm just going to sit them in the slow cooker to wait for the sauce to be made. So I've chopped up a couple of onions, a couple of cloves of garlic and I'm just going to pop those into the same pan that the lamb cooked in. Really I just want to get that to a point where it's a little bit collapsed and fragrant. Another good thing about using a slow cooker or using a slow cooking method is that you can use less expensive cuts of meat because they actually lend themselves to being slow cooked. You need extra gristle and some fat and the sinew and the stuff that just sort of breaks down and becomes lovely and tender as it cooks. Once that's softened down, I'm just gonna pour in about a cup of red wine and cook the alcohol off it. I've cooked all the sort of alcohol, the raw alcohol out of that and it's come to the boil. I'm going to pour it in over the lamb shanks. And into that I'm going to add a couple of cups of beef stock, a couple of cups of orange juice. It's important to make sure that all the meat is submerged because any bits that are sticking up out of the liquid are going to be really tough because they won't be braising. Okay, a couple of bay leaves in there, a cinnamon stick, a few sultanas for sweetness and the zest of an orange. Okay. Now I'm just going to put the lid on and turn it on for five or six hours. Slow cookers vary from one another, so really you've got to know what to look for. And what you're looking for with this recipe is for the sauce to have thickened a little bit and for the meat to be literally falling off the bone tender. Stick around because after the break I'm going to serve it up with a lovely couscous dish. Also, succulent pork belly with the perfect crackling. That is one of the best sounds in the world. And later, Underbelly's Guyton Grantly turns up the heat in Julie's kitchen. 
they're going to eat this by the fire. Oh, chill. So you're going to be... <laughs> really? Hey. <laughs>
just to finish off those soft edgy bits. Coming up, actor Guyton Grantley helps out with a winter favourite. You can really taste the love in there. <laughs> and Julie puts Guyton to the cooking test. I've never done two things at once. I'm a bloke. <laughs>